All right, I hope you guys are doing well. So I just want to go over the video and the questions from yesterday. That's all I'm going to do. I know it was a two-hour lay. I want to keep it short for you. And I'm not going to have an assignment for you for, you know, obviously Monday. But I just want to make sure we get over this and we're all on the same page. And we're kind of moving in a string here, moving in a line, you know, getting to the start of World War II. All right, so when did the MS St. Louis leave Europe? What event happened in Germany that pushed these Jewish people to leave their homes? Where were these people heading? All right, so the biggest thing was the St. Louis was a passenger ship that was used to for Jewish refugees from Germany, from uh, you know Belgium, France, okay? A lot of these places in Europe, Poland, a lot of these places in Europe that were under, gonna be under Nazi control. Right. So as Germany was expanding through Laban's realm, which we're going to talk about more on Monday uh, with uh, you know, the taking of Czechoslovakia, the Sudetenland, uh, the Angelus, uh, it, there's a lot of things that I need to discuss Monday. We'll put things in perspective. But after Kristallnacht, uh, this pushed many of these Jewish citizens in Germany to flee, to leave. And uh, we knew with the Nuremberg Laws, the decitizenship of these people. Really, it was just Germany trying to, the Nazis trying to push these Jewish uh, citizens out of Germany, get them out of their culture, out of their lands. And the, St. Louis was a refugee ship, all right? It was the passenger ship that was taking these Jewish citizens across the Atlantic Ocean to Cuba, hopefully seeking asylum, okay? Trying to escape the burdens that were happening in Europe. And as they get close to Cuba, they don't accept them, right? So I believe 24 passengers got off there. That was it, though. That was it. Okay. And then uh, the ship then moved up to America. America said, nope, sorry. We're not going to allow you to come. You know, we don't know what kind of tendencies you have. We have a strict policy of our immigration during this time, especially if you're from Germany. You know, the expansion of communism was a big clear threat. Uh, the depression that was occurring in the United States. And at the time, uh, not only in Germany, but all across the country, all oh, in, in the United States, all across the world, many of these places weren't accepting of Jewish culture, Jewish people. And it was this, just a sad period of time, especially what was going on in Nazi Germany. So America even said, uh, and Canada said, no, we're not going to accept you. Um, we don't know exactly what's going on in Germany. Like we have a, a kind of a, a thought of might, what might be happening. But uh, for the most part, it was just these people trying to seek asylum. And no one would accept them, not even the United States, not even Canada. So, you know, there's about, uh, what was it, I believe 200 uh, I forget how many passengers there was. But again, it was just a sad story because many of these refugees weren't accepted into the U.S., Canada, you know, the Western Hemisphere. All right, so what happened to them then? Um, they sent back to Belgium. They thought, well, we can maybe seek asylum in Belgium. Hopefully the Germans, Nazi Germany doesn't expand. Uh, it would be westward to France and Belgium at this time, 1939, but soon enough, Germany would, right? And many of these people went back to Europe and they're taken right away by the Nazis into these determined camps, these work camps, concentration camps, death camps then, right? And the Holocaust obviously would happen. So these people trying to escape, trying to really get out of the burdens in Europe, they leave, try to find asylum in the United States and Canada, not accepted. So their only resort was to head back. And unfortunately, many of these people would die in these internment camps, these work camps, concentration camps. It's a very, very sad story, and it's very unfortunate. Okay, But the acts of the Nuremberg Laws and Kristallnacht, that's what pushed this to happen, well, pushed these people to leave and flee Europe. And I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was an interesting story, especially about what was going on in Germany with Kristallnacht and the Nuremberg Laws and how these people were trying to escape. All right, that's all I got. Hey, take care. Have a great weekend.